Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my Beauty of the Otters box. Um, it's a simple box. It's slightly different in terms of how um, I would normally have mine open. So it's actually more of a long, a long box. Um, it doesn't have a separate lid. Um, normally I would probably do squares for this style um, but I decided today that I'd just be a little bit different and go for this long shape. Um, Beauty of the Earth is the DSP that I've used. Um, I sort of wanted to try and use something a bit different and again using the reverse or B-side as I call it of the DSP is something that I always try and showcase because I think that is sometimes just as pretty as the um, the side that you're meant to see with all the patterns um, so I've kind of gone for the contrast so this is the old olive and mossy meadow version and then today I'm going to be using this one which is misty moonlight and night of navy which granted you there isn't really much night of navy going on there um, but but I just wanted to show yes these look like winter trees but they also could just like look like um, grasses underneath the water and the blobs are the bubbles you know i just try and look at something a little bit differently um this one is more just of a more smudges than you can see trees so again maybe just sort of a, a rather unpleasant green pond <laughs> but um but yeah so let's go ahead and make it so to begin with you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is <coughs> excuse me 11 by 6 inches and that is 27 and a half by 15 and a half centimetres. <clears throat> On the short side, we're going to score at half an inch. Whoops. Then one and a half. And four and a half. And five and a half. And in centimetres that will be one and a half and four, eleven and a half and fourteen. We're then going to rotate, and it doesn't matter if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, because they're both the same. Um, and then we're going to score on the long side at <clears throat> one, five, six, and ten inches, and that will be two and a half, twelve and a half. 15 and 25 centimetres. Okay, do some folding and burnishing. As I say, this is this is the easy part. <laughs> but yeah, these these otters, obviously normally I would do my celebration projects at the weekend. Um, but as I said, I quite like these otters, so I thought, well, I'm going to create a project midweek. So why not? Okay, so once you've done your scoring and your um, burnishing, so we're going to start at the bottom here, and we're literally going to create some little tabs out of this bottom square cut away that little thin bit same here so we're just going to cut these away and then we want to do exactly the same up here so we're going to fold turn it around we're going to cut across here Tuck that in out of the way and create the same here with this one. And then again the same this side. So this is the centre square. So I'm just going to fold that in so I can get at it and cut those bits out there. So you should now be left with this shape, do it that way you can see a bit better. So this obviously now comes together as the base of your box. So all you need to do now is cut away these long sections either side. So all of it gone. As I 
so same both sides just cut it all away and then this very last tab here is the bit of your lid that tucks in and so you just want to cut a very thin sliver off either side and once you've done that you're left with this shape okay so all I want to do now is I'm just going to grab my heart punch now if you have anything with this kind of curve on you can use it as a punch or a notch oh actually I need to add my DSP don't I silly me right so you need one piece that measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters if you have direction then obviously just make sure that's going the way it should be and that just goes on the top and then I have two that are two and three quarters by three quarters and two that are three and three quarters by three quarters and in centimeters your large piece here will be seven by nine and a half and then you will need two that are seven by one and two that are nine and a half by one and then we're just going to stick these on you can hear a little dog trotting about i think she's going up to bed <laughs> Bless her. okay and then these last two bits here come on seal one and the last one here can just go on back there so yeah so now I'm going to bring in my little heart punch again if you want to measure it you can but I'm just taking a little notch there for the thumb and then we're obviously going to glue this up So adhesive on those four tabs there and then just bring those round just give it a second or two just to hold and then this one same so I'm just going to give that a second to hold and then these front ones one there that one there just making sure that these edges are level with the sides and nothing's overlapping or underlapping if that is even a word okay and then just going to fold my shot I call these shoulders I don't know why but I just think it helps the lid keep its shape and then I'm just going to tuck this just be mindful if you're doing this early on as I am when you've just glued that you don't tuck this in between your tab and the back piece so I'm just going to sort of bend it ever so slightly just to make sure there we go and that is my lovely little box made up and then to decorate it I've got my layering circle framelits and I've gone two tones so again mossy meadow to coordinate with the base and then this is old olive that goes with the DSP this one is very similar so I've kept my circles separate so this is for those and then I've got some basic white here and just grab my memento my awesome otters so I want this cute little chap here and then I need a little block for my sentiment so I'm going to pop just want to check that I have enough clearance for my sentiment so that's going to go there I did forget to spray again some days I'm really good with this other days I'm hopeless so clean that stamp and then I'm going to stamp my lovely little otter down here and 
Okay, so uh, let's just trim around him for a second. Get my mini boss. So I'm just going to pop one of these through. Oh, still haven't oiled it. Mm -hmm. So there's my misty moonlight. And then my Knight of Navy that coordinates with my box base. Ooh. And then, you wouldn't believe I actually do have a non-slip mat underneath this, but it never... It never non-slips. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to pop this on here and run this one through as well. There we go. Move those. Straighten her up. Right, so back in with this little cutie. So I've literally just used crumb cake blends for this. It's simple as that. So I've got dark here just for his nose. And I'm going to be quite quick with this because you don't want to see me blending. Um, and I literally just used the light crumb cake to go all the way round and see I'm not being especially careful here because I'm just very quickly putting colour on. Oops, nearly got his eye. I think I actually did get that eye. <laughs> but yeah, just whooshing that colour on and then Back in with my dark, and I literally just added where those marks are. And I did do a little tufty bit on his head. Ooh. Back in with the light, and I literally just went over it again. Obviously you would take more time with this. Just quickly whiz him around there. And that is your otter, very roughly. And then I just fussy cut super quick round and again you don't need to be too perfect with this either. And again, just <clears throat> going back to before, I'm literally just moving the card, not moving my scissors really. It does make everything a lot easier. And then, crikey, that was, that was quick. Okay, so let's get this stuck on here. Right, so, seal again. Got some of my Knight of Navy just there. Whoops, my Misty Moonlight here. I just sort of overlapped down the bottom. My little sentiment here that actually just tucked in just there, which I quite liked. Some dimensionals on my cute little otter. And then the final bit, I used the white crinkle seam binding ribbon. 
make a bow. You can use a thicker white if you wish. You could pretty much use any ribbon you wanted to. Um, you could actually even, with this one, you could use the denim one. Um, you can dye these ribbons too. I think I've done it once. You can colour some of them with blends. Again, not something... I think I've done that once too, actually. I'm fibbing. So, a bit of a glue dot to hold my ribbon in place. So, I'm just actually going to fold that glue dot in half. And pop it there. Oops. Top of my finger. And then pop my ribbon on. And then just to finish off, I added some of the beautiful polished dots. Just the clear ones. Just to add some, well... As I always say, you have to ha have to add a little bit of bling everywhere, one way or another. And there you have it. There are my Beauty of the Otters box. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all again soon.